and Darrell Church at the top of the field. The Bristol Toyota Pace Truck pulls down to the center of the infield, and we're ready to go. Next time by, off of turn number four, green flag unfurls. 25 laps for the Chaz's Auto Body Sport Trucks as they race down into turn number one. Arsenal looking for the advantage off at of two. Shuts the door on a hard charging Jake Veneta as they come off of four. It is Church setting the pace at lap number one. Church and Arsenal. Bumper to bumper, look at the 50 of Duar creeping in on the outside. Don't forget about Veneta looking to make a move on the inside. Top four still door to door. Church spooking out to a slight lead. Down the back stretch they go and Arsenal battles back down low. Double wide, they're stacked up at the top of the field. Top two rows, here comes Veneta again, looking down low, trying to make it three wide. Down at the turn, number one. Veneta with the run down low. Arsenal in the middle. Church up at the outside, down the back straight away. Church backs off, settles it in back behind. Arsenal up to the outside. Here comes Veneta down low. Jake Veneta looking for the lead. Doesn't have it that time. Arsenal set, holds on that time. But off at turn number two, it's a different story as Veneta edges up. Takes over the lead down the back straightaway with Martin and Shaw in tow. Radical Rick taking over second place. Shaw and Arsenal window to window for third. Veneta opening his lead up. Battle also in for fifth between Brittany Campbell and Daryl Church. Campbell on the inside taking the spot away. Church backsliding on the top side. Arsenal settles back in behind the 85 of Barry Shaw. Down the back stretch they go and Church has fallen outside of the top six. Kyle Bourne sits seventh, Solier is eighth, ninth and tenth is a battle side by side between the five of Tom Scully the third and the zero of Gil Bradstreet. Up front, Rick Martin all over the back bumper of Jake Venator as they hit turns three and four. Off the corner they come, Martin down to the inside. Battle for the lead, down into turn number one. We've seen this before, Martin coming out on top, the previous two times, get, takes advantage this time and sets the pace. Veneta looking for a crossover move. Martin shuts the door off a of four. Good crossover block there by Radical Rick. Top seven nose to tail as they round the back stretch. Martin, good defense. Veneta trying to squeeze in the inside, nothing doing. Duart trying to make it too wide for fourth with Amy Arsenault. Duart down on the inside, takes a peek, gets a good run down the back straightaway, evens up with the nine momentarily. They roll off of turn four. Arsenal caught back up on the outside. Duart up into the four spot. Brittany Campbell looking for a top five. Runs her run down to the inside as they come off at turn number two. The ladies racing wheel to wheel. Give the advantage to Campbell down into three. Church and Arsenal now wheel to wheel as Radical Rick Looking to open up his lead. Top five ducks in a row as they round turn four. Veneta looking to move in on the inside. Rick Martin putting a little bit of breathing room between he and the 29 as he takes off down the back straightaway. We've hit the halfway point. 13 down, 12 to go. It's Martin, Veneta, Shaw, Duart, and Campbell. Your top five with Church, Arsenal, Healy, uh, Heilborn. Eighth, ninth is Scully, 10th, is Marissa Morgan. Bradstreet off the pace, heading pit side. Field thunders down the back straightaway. Clay Petschke going minus one to the leaders as the field thunders across the stripe with 10 laps to go. Church trying to make his way past Petschke to catch up to Campbell. Campbell moving away, trying to close it on Duar for fourth, closes it on Shaw for third. Radical Rick opening up his lead around turn two. Top five still nose to tail. Yeah, field to stretch itself out around the third mile. Mike Cavallero driving that renumbered 80 from the number 34 of Anastasia Lebrun, 27 of Anastasia Lebrun as she runs at the tail end of the field. Cavallero doing a good job trying to get some speed out of that machine. Duar with a bit of a full court press on Shaw on the inside, sideways around. 
Trying to make it double wide. Five circles to go. Next time around. Battle for third, heating up. Campbell trying to get in there. Duart pressuring Shaw as radical Rick Martin stretches his lead over Veneta. Rick passed Mike Cavallaro, who was minus one. As we got two wide here for third, Duart v. Shaw. Campbell in the back in there as well. Dow Church going to try to make it interesting. Rick with about two laps to go this time, and right now the battle is for that fourth position. Brittany Campbell slides underneath Barry Shaw, takes a spot away. Barry getting a little bit loose. Looks like he may have a tire going down as Darrell Church works the inside lane there. Off of four with the white flag in the air. Martin comfortably at the top of the leaderboard. Brings the field down off of turn number two. Barry Shaw has fallen to six now as he tries to hang on. Radical Rick Martin rolls off at turn number four. He'll pick up his third win of the season. Second going to Jake Veneta with the 50 of Duart rounding out the podium. Brittany Campbell coming home fourth. And Darrell Church rounding out the top five. Mike, a good run tonight. A Green's green. a checker. Not bad. It looks like the tires started to go away a little bit towards the middle of the race. Yeah, I just got stuck on the outside. Some, the heat race outside was good to me. The feature, luck of the draw. Just ran out of time. It was fast. I was catching up to these guys, but that's that's racing. I know you got some people you want to thank. Yeah, I got to thank my crew. George Turgey has this thing on rails right now. Sandy, my dad, my brother, Kyle, they bust their hump to give me a chance. Along with my sponsors, Car Connections, Eric's Auto Service, Roaches Landscaping, and Ferry and Sons Oil and Heating. Thank you. Good run for third. Congratulations, Mike. To Jake Veneta. Now, Jake. Before we get into the race, you got pink numbers for a special reason tonight. Yeah, um, longtime friends of ours, the Ferrara family, this is right here, uh, Donna, who was my first real boss of my real, jo real job boss, I guess you could say. Um, she's a little sick. Um, she's here tonight, though, so it's nice to see it. I was really hoping to be where Ricky was for them tonight, but honestly, on the podium, this is great. I'm really grateful. One of these days, you're going to find a way to beat him. Yeah, I mean, if I finish second to him until the last race of the season and we beat him then, that's okay, but I don't know if that's possible. We'll see. Ricky's a class act. There's one guy I want to lose to. It's Rick Martin. So i got to thank Viking Sheet Metal, JDV Productions, Bumper to Bumper Accessories, Simple Sign Works, Hopkins Brothers Auto Repair, Hackety Construction, uh, Joe Ham Race Cars, um, Atlantic Cafe, Dunkin' Donuts, Gesner Auto, and also just a shout out to Dick Houlihan for getting in the Near Hall of Fame. I, uh, I've raced against him many years, and him and, and Rick are people I look up to, so congratulations to Dick. First I've heard of that, congratulations to Dick, but congratulations Jake Veneta finishing second. How about a back in victory lane? Ladies and gentlemen, Radical Rick Martin. Rick, congratulations. Green to checker tonight. Once you got out front, it looked like an easy run for you. Yeah, it was a little slippery out there, wasn't it, Jake? Yeah, yeah. I've, a couple of times there, could have went three wide. I said, I'm just going to be patient and let it sit and see what it works out here. We don't want to be wrecking any more trucks. We don't have enough. So just trying to take it easy and pay it off. Truck is on rails over the last few weeks, getting stronger and stronger as we get into the stretch run. Yeah, we actually got a couple of new tires this week, so we're good. Uh, we've been really limited on the tires this year because they just can't get them. So we've been six tires all year long on this truck. So we finally put two on it, and it showed. I know you got some people you want to thank. Yeah, I got to thank uh, Richie's Insulation there, Ed and Marsha. I mean, the, the guys that put this truck together, Apollo Safety. I got to look at it. I forget the uh, uh, Tequila Cantina, New England Collision. Everybody, it takes a whole bunch of people to put these things together to get them to work. So anybody looking to jump on a pro stock, let me know. <laughs> Congratulations. Third one of the season.